<laughs> Yo! Well, as you can see, we are in the city today, boys. And I want to do a little video for you. This is the biggest secret to pigeon hunting. Today's video, I'm giving you the, my biggest tips on how to traffic pigeons, how to scout pigeons, how to find pigeons, how, why, what, when, and where. But real quick, a lot of you have been asking if we still have the keychains in stock. We were out for a minute, but they are back now. So if you guys want a canvas keychain, they're canvas. Pretty sweet. Go pick one up. I'll link them in the description below. As well as the Ducks Pop Sockets. We only have like seven of the Ducks ones left on the website. We just ordered a bunch more. So if you guys want one, you better go pick them up now because there's only like seven of them left. So I bet you're like, what in the heck is he doing, man? Why is he in the city? Why is he filming pigeons in the city? A lot of the pigeon hunts I do, actually probably 80% of the pigeon hunts I do, all the pigeons are coming from the city. Now, I've hunted big cities, small t- small t- no. Small cities, small towns, grain bins, cattle farms, all the above. And what I can tell you that's extremely intriguing is 80% of these hunts are city birds migrating together out of the city to go feed. Now, pigeons right now feed twice a day. Once in the a.m., I mean right at sunrise, they are flying out. And then in the afternoon, we've been doing a lot of good on the afternoon hunts. It seems like the afternoon hunts are just a little better. But what I'm getting at is all the pigeons from the city leave town together and they're on one fly line one fly line they're not dispersing like ducks and geese off a roost where you know 500 500 of them might go that way 100 might go this way no no pigeons biggest one of the biggest tips pigeons are on a primary flight line yes sir Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what I'm getting at guys is yeah, I until this year when I really started figuring out what pigeons do uh, Hunting with trace a bunch trace. I'm telling you uh, the redhead crazy cat that I'm always pigeon hunting with He's taught me a bunch and I've learned a lot scouting these birds. It's pretty it's a, it's an amazing thing it's, It relates so tightly to waterfowl hunting that uh, yeah, it grabbed my attention pretty quick. Look at them bad boys up there, perched up there. So one thing about the town that I live in, we have a bunch of pigeons. We have a bunch of city pigeons on our main street. All downtown, there's just nothing but freaking pigeons everywhere. So first, first and foremost, if your city that you live in, in your downtown, your business districts, your tall buildings, all that jazz, if you have a bunch of pigeons, you're like, God, I'd love to hunt these birds, but we're in the city limits, believe me. You can hunt them because I can tell you right now that they're all leaving together in the mornings and afternoons and they're heading out to go feed and most likely it's gonna be cut wheat right now. So if you have cut wheat fields around you right now, being the end of July, they're probably gonna be hitting those things. That's what we have going on. So if your town is surrounded by wheat, I can guarantee you right now that you have pigeons leaving on a steady flight line together two times a day once in the morning once in the afternoon and they're huntable birds they're huntable sometimes what i found is pigeons can get stuck on a food source so let's say that there's an elevator that's in inside the city limits if there's still food on the ground like grain from falling out of trucks it's going to be really hard to suck them off of there and get them to go you know maybe just a mile or half a mile uh, more outside the city limits but if you have birds hitting the outside the city limits they're huntable yep I'm telling you all these birds are just we have tons and tons and tons of pigeons here so first and foremost about pigeon hunting it's a lot more intricate uh, than you would expect you would expect pigeons um, just to be really easy huntable look here they come again another one landing dude there's just tons of them and I mean tons. This is just one of hundreds and hundreds of buildings here in my town. But every town, if you have some high buildings, a heavy downtown district, and you see pigeons just everywhere, believe me, you're going to be able to hunt them. They leave the town to go eat on cut wheat fields. I'm telling you right now, I guarantee you they do it. So what I was getting at, pigeons, it's extremely intricate and particular. Uh, at first I was like, 
You know, pigeon hunting is just kind of like dove hunting. If you see a lot of them around a field, you know, you go set up in a cut field, whether it's corn or wheat, and you'll kill some. Oh no, oh no. Pigeons, you have to get on the X or you have to sit directly underneath a flight line. If you're directly underneath a flight line close to the feed, you have decent luck at killing some and sucking them down out of that flight line, just like we did in the last hunt. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I'm going to be putting it up uh, if, you, if it isn't up yet, but I'm telling you, gold. I mean, look at these critters. They're just everywhere here. Everywhere, I'm telling you, everywhere. So essentially, the particular aspects of pigeon hunting, they all get up at once. They all leave the city together at once, just like a body, just like a body of water, just like a roost when you see uh, geese, when you, you know when you find a roost, a uh, body of water that's holding a thousand plus geese, they all leave at once pretty much. And within five minutes, they're all leaving and they're on their way to go feed. Same thing with pigeons. Pigeons leave the city together all at once on one fly line. So a lot of times what i found that they will pick a road, a road as a guide system to get to the feed. The last two pigeon hunts that I've been on were city birds. They were traveling between seven and 10 miles to go feed twice a day. The same feed, the same field every day for weeks on end, seven to 10 miles. That's baffling to me. When I, when I discovered that, I'm like, pigeons, they're all, a whole town of pigeons is grouping up on the same fly line, because you can see them. I mean, it's literally one fly line. They're, they're following one road out of town, essentially, all the time. All pigeons in all these towns are going to be just like, guys. In the mornings, and I'd say around 2 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon, right now, it's going to change once the cool weather starts coming around. But right now, that's when they're leaving town. So if you guys are wondering how to find pigeons and scout pigeons and see where the X is, post up on the outskirts of town and try to find the fly line. It's hard. Pigeons are small. They're not as big as ducks and geese, so they're hard to spot. They're hard to follow. A lot of them will fly close to the ground. They'll dip and dive in between trees and houses. So it is hard to follow them. I'm, it's, it's tough. So essentially guys, there's two ways to really hunt pigeons. One are cattle farms. Cattle farms with grain bins like you've seen on that last or second to last pigeon hunt. A lot of pigeons will gather up at cattle farms and that's th those are going to be the nasty ones when they're staying in grain bins and they're feeding on cattle feces and nasty cattle yards. That's one way you can hunt pigeons. The other way, the awesome way, and, and the, just what I mean by awesome is you actually have to scout them. They, like our pigeons right now, I'm scouting birds that are flying seven to 10 miles, like I said, that, that just baffles me. And it's every day, it's not just, it happens once in a while. They are on a strict schedule, and I mean strict. But two ways again, two ways, city birds, cattle farms. And these are the two ways that I've hunted them. I mean, there's other ways you can hunt pigeons, believe you me, but these are the two primary ways. So, pay attention to cattle farms, they're easy to spot, they're easy, you know where they're at, you can go straight to them and see if pigeons are on them. The second way is you're gonna have to do a lot of driving and scouting, but I can, what I can help you there is, right now, should be the same in the Midwest. All these pigeons with cut wheat right now ought to be getting in the field, leaving, leaving the cities, I can tell you by 7 a.m. in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, and then again at about 1.30 and 2. I'd say between 1 to 2 o'clock, eh, they're all going to be getting up in the afternoon and heading out to eat together. I know it's insane. You would think I was lying about this, and believe me, I almost think I'm lying about this, but for the last month I've been scouting pigeons and it has been a true eye-opener to see wildlife. You, we, we think pigeons as being dumb, and a lot of them are really dumb. You can set out a dove mojo. You've seen me use duck mojos, for God's sakes, and we still decoy them in and kill over a hundred. So it doesn't matter on the decoys. It only matters you have to learn how to scout them. And these couple tips that I'm giving you, they right now they're feeding twice a day. Early, early sunrise, and about 1, 1 1.30, that's when they're getting up out of the city and they're flying out 7 to 10 miles to feed. Now, those 7 to 10 miles, I'm telling you, they cover 7 to 10 miles as a group extremely fast. So a lot of times you'll see a group of 5, a group of 7, a group of 10, a group of 2, 
another single, a pair, a group of 20. So when they're coming from town, that's how you'll usually see them uh, fly out is small groups, but man, it's a steady line of them. I'm telling you what. Holy smokes, it is pouring. Oh boy, do we need this. Now I will say, uh, this is a great tip. Uh, I'm glad it's raining. Um, a lot of times if it's raining, the pigeons are going to shut off. They're not going to fly in rain. They're going to they're gonna stay up on tops of buildings and get underneath awnings. They're not going to fly to feed in the rain like this. Now, if the rain shuts off and then this afternoon, 1, 2 o'clock rolls around, you better believe they're going to be flying because they're going to know that there's water on the ground and water in the fields. And pigeons are just like doves. They love to have available water at their food source. So if they have water in the field and they have food there at their feed, oh boy, they're in heaven. So if it's not raining, but if it rained the night before, get your butt out there because they're going to be thirsty and hungry at the same time. And they're going to know, they're going to know, believe me, that there's water available. So little tip. Oh boy, it is pouring. And I mean, I mean pouring. That's some good rain and I'm happy for it, but uh, but uh, these guys over here are not liking it. <laughs> They're in a topless Jeep. Hear how loud that is? I mean, it's pouring. This is flash flood business. But we're gonna head home so uh, we can wrap up this video. I'm loving the rain. It's gonna fill the duck pond up, so there we go. Oh yeah, so I'm in the garage here after I got soaked trying to make it here and it is pouring outside i mean pouring we haven't got this kind of rain in a long time wow but today i was gonna i was gonna do a lot more uh pigeon filming city birds i was gonna film a bunch more city pigeons but uh in the middle of me recording yeah you guys seen it this the storm literally just came in and ugh. we're gonna wrap it up and i'm gonna tell you a few things a few things like pigeon hunting the decoys Literally, that's all you need. Go and buy some dove decoys. Some of the cheap, like $2 dove decoys from Walmart. I know, I know. Trace and we use actual pigeon decoys and they have them out there. There's two companies in particular, uh, Wing King and Soar No More. Those two companies make full body pigeon decoys. Now, that being said, do you need them? Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna be decoying big groups of pigeons, I'd probably say yeah, you do need some pigeon decoys. But for the most part, just like if you're hunting city birds, you're gonna be on a fly line and you're gonna be getting groups, just like geese as they come in, you know, like honkers do. They come in pack of five, they come in twos, they come in tens. Pigeons are the same deal. So it doesn't require nine dozen decoys like we use, but it's kind of like goose hunting. The more, the merrier. So if you want to invest in pigeon decoys. Three to four dozen is the most you're probably ever gonna need. Now, one thing we are gonna invest in and use is a rotary. Now, the rotary, just like you use for snow goose hunting, they have rotary units for pigeon decoys. So, uh, I'm probably gonna be building one. If you guys want me to build one, drop a comment down below and uh, I'll try to build one for y'all. A homemade rotary pigeon decoy system. How about that? But, uh, yeah, I want to make one. They do sell them, but, you know, they're going to be like 150 200 bucks probably. So, think about trying to make one. Right now, it is pigeon hunting season. If, if there's a, there is no actual lawful season to pigeon hunting, but right now, it's pigeon hunting season. The wheat's cut, and that's when they're hammering the cut wheat fields getting out of town on very, very defined flight lines. The flight lines... If you have a city, if, it, if they're flying out the east side of a city, they're not going to be flying out of a four mile perimeter to one field. They're going to ball up into one line right out the get go and they're going to be on literally one line going out of town. So always remember that. That's why it's so hard to scout pigeons is because their fly line is extremely tight. I mean, they're, it's like a single file row going out of cities. So that's why they're hard to find. But all these tips that I'm giving you, yeah, they're secrets and they're tips, but the main thing, it's still hard. No matter what I teach you guys on pigeon hunting, it's so hard to find the feed. It is hard because they're small, small birds. Geese, you can see them from well over a mile away when they're flying. Pigeons, you can't see them more than a mile. There's no way. So, it's a hard. You're going to need a team of guys, a group of buddies to help. All Everybody binds in. Everybody helps 
try to find that fly line because believe me if your city has a ton of pigeons just like I showed you in mine I can guarantee you they have a flight line going out of town to feed on some cut wheat right now and those hunts are ten times better than grain silos and cattle farms ten times better because they're flying seven to ten miles and when they see your decoy spread they are hungry that's why on those hunts we kill over a hundred birds most of the time or just more birds in general and we have better luck decoying them. We get them down in the decoys because they give it up. They're hungry, that's why they're coming out there. So cattle farms and grain bins, you're just kind of pass shooting them on their roost, kind of just shooting them as they come and go. City birds, city birds, when you find the feed, whole different game. It's just like waterfowl hunting at that point. But you guys have been asking for some pigeon tip videos. I've already done, uh, last year I did some pigeon tip videos and I covered decoys, you know, using a dove mojo and duck mo mojos and all that stuff. But this video has so much more information in it when it comes to pigeon hunting because the scout is so important. The scout is harder than ducks. It's harder than geese. So the time it takes to find the pigeon fly line, oh man, it's a struggle. And, and not all of you are going to have success finding it. But with these tips, I'm trying to help you guys find it. I just can't tell you, hey, you got pigeons leaving your town on this side of town at this time. All I can tell you is that if your city has a ton of pigeons, you have cut wheat around it right now, most likely twice a day, unless you have this going on, all this water going on here, they're going to be feeding twice a day. So first, first light, and then about 1.30, 2.30, that's when you need to be trying to find that fly line going out of your city. I know I've said it enough. I've probably said it eight times now. Jesus. Good hunts never happen unless you try. Bad hunts never happen unless you try. That's why we call it hunting and not killing, guys. This is why the channel's here is to teach you guys this stuff because me doing it every day, whether it's pigeons, ducks, geese, I'm learning so much every day. And I am here to share it with you guys and provide knowledge to you guys and help all you beginners get somewhere a little bit faster. So if you guys like these videos, these sit down how-to videos, if you guys like the pigeon videos, drop me a huge thumbs up and whatever video that you guys want me to do, I want you to drop a comment down below and be like, Bobby, cover this or cover this, cover this. Can you please do this video? A lot of you guys want to see the loadout videos of what I got in my blind bag. I'm holding that off a little bit till we get closer to the season, so be looking out for that. But until then, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. You know I extreme, you know I appreciate it extremely. Big amount. Love you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you for being here, and thank you for subscribing. All you new subscribers, the numbers have been going up crazy. The season's on the way. I greet you guys with open arms. Welcome to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.